The 20th reunion of the Herald newspaper's closure was held in Melbourne recently. More than 100 journalists from the former afternoon broadsheet gathered at the Emerald Hotel in South Melbourne to reminisce about their days at the newspaper. The Herald and the Sun were merged to form the Herald Sun in 1990. At a time when Germany was reunifying, the Cold War was almost over and Collingwood was primed to win the grand final. Among those at the reunion was Bruce Basket, the Herald's final editor before it merged with the Sun. They were very professional people in those days. They could really, uh, some of the amazing people I've worked with, especially in the sub-editing area and the reporting areas, uh, they'd stand up today equal to anyone. They, they were super journalists. Probably played life a bit harder in those days, but uh, uh, their, up, their apres work uh, was probably more serious. And uh, There was no Chardonnay in those days. It was beer, beer and beer. And plenty of beer, beer and beer was on tap at the bar throughout the reunion. People who survived those days in journalism, uh, a lot of them went on to uh, very, very good positions in other, in, not only in journalism, but in other industries as well, because they were used to working the deadlines, and that's, uh, that was a great advantage. A number of well-known journalists were on hand to offer their recollections of what it was like working at the Herald and what newsroom culture was like back in the days before the internet and computers, when newspapers were printed on site. It was terrific. The Herald was a friendly uh, place to work. People were energetic. They loved newspapers. They loved doing what they did. We worked in this beautiful old building that was purpose built in the 20s. It had presses that, that you could hear rumble every time the edition went. It was really like living in a film about newspapers. I can remember getting to work at uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning and uh, my deputy chief of staff and I, Hugh Crawford, would be smoking cigars. Uh, we would be sending out our uh, copy people to go and buy cigarettes and bacon and egg sandwiches. You'd never get away with us that these days. You used to stub your cigarettes out of the floor. It was black and white linoleum. Very different, but very enjoyable. Great team atmosphere. And the thing that I've seen today here, which I don't, I just can't believe, is the amount of sheer talent in a newsroom in one place at one time. It doesn't matter whether it's the late 70s, early 80s, just staggering. I mean, we had so much fun. We really did. It was, it was very exciting and it's not just a, it's not just my memory kind of, you know, giving a rosy hue to this. It really was enormous fun. We, we worked extremely hard. We played very hard and I don't think you'll find anybody here today who doesn't have the fondest memories of, of those years. Copies of famous front pages were given out as prizes at the reunion. An authenticated copy of the last edition of the Herald to be printed and a George Haddon cartoon made especially for the occasion were also up for grabs. These reporters are a hardy lot and a 30 year reunion is apparently already on the cards. I'm amazed today that so many people have survived. 